<laughs> this is supposed to be July and here I am with the body warmer again. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephen from James Glen Castles. If you haven't already, I would really, really appreciate a wee subscribe. Or if you like the video, give us a wee thumbs up. If you haven't, you know what to do. Or if you get any feedback for me, stick it in the comments. Now, this video is going to be a bit different from anything that we've done before and it's going to be a series that I'm planning on doing moving forward. Now, what you'll probably find from the videos is that they're all pretty raw, um, they're not very polished, I generally don't sugar, I don't sugar coat much and um, I like to keep things candid because generally speaking that's what people like. Uh, so, in the, in, in the aid of rawness, I'm on the way into the garage now, it's 5 to 7, so I'll get there probably about the back of 7, we don't open until 9. That gives me a couple hours to make a video. Now, obviously if I was going to pick the car, I would pick the Bentley or maybe the F-Type, uh, Art Dynamic or, you know, something sporty like the Golf GTI because these are all cars that, you know, there's lots to talk about. However, to keep, <laughs> to keep things interesting and, um, Basically to keep things uh, a bit different from the norm, I haven't picked the car. So I left a wee bit sharp last night and Spencer and Lee have chosen the vehicle for me to review this morning. So I'm going in, uh, we don't get it wrong, we've only got maybe 15 cars in stock at any one time. But it might not even be a car that we own, so I don't know what I've got to go into to be honest. So it will be as raw as possible. Um, I'll be there in about 10 minutes and I'll see what the guys have got sat out for me. Catch you in the garage. Okie dokie, we are almost at the garage. Been thinking on the way in. I'm in the good books. I'm sure the guys have left me something with plenty of meat on it. Something that I can talk about, something I can get tore in about. <laughs> Or it might not be. Uh, we will find out in the next few minutes uh, when I get in and I see what's sitting waiting for me. Almost there. What have they left out for me? Bastards. Come on. <laughs> Nothing like giving me plenty of meat to work with, guys. Okay, let's get warmed up and I'll show you what I've got to make a video of. So what have I got to review for you guys today? You ready? Yes. As I mentioned earlier, Absolute bastards. <laughs> uh, guys, in case you don't already know, this is none other than a Toyota Igo. I don't even know, I'll be honest, I'm not even sure what size engine it is. I think, I think it's a one litre. No, guys, it's okay. You know, don't leave the Porsche out for me um, or, the, or the Jag, you know, or even, or even the Golf GTI. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. First and foremost, I'm so glad that it's early in the morning because it means we've got all the roads to ourselves so I can demonstrate the 71 horsepowers <laughs> of all the cars. Back a minute, wait to the garage. Now, before we get towed in, we'll turn that down, to the features and benefits of which there aren't many. <laughs> Let's just think back, I mean I'm 43 and the first, a style of first car would be something like a Vauxhall Nova. I had a D plate, uh, fondly remembered the registration number, D513 UHH, may you rest in peace probably now. Um, but anyway, that car had 
a four-speed gearbox. It had a manual choke. It had um, a stereo if you chose to put one in it. Windy windows, no central locking, no ABS, no traction control, no airbags. You know, and then fast forward many, many years, and we're sitting in this wee car, and we've got power steering, it's got a multifunction steering wheel, it's got Bluetooth control, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, it's even got air conditioning, and that's before we move on to the really, really juicy stuff. Now, um, let's look at it, let's look at the Yaris, the Toyota I go as a watered down Yaris GR. Bear with. <laughs> So if you've never driven a, a three-cylinder, they're, they're actually quite torquey. Now this has a one-litre three-cylinder. Sadly, it, it, it does without the turbo and the extra 500 cc's and <coughs> about 200 brake horsepower. But it's what you do with it. It's 70 horsepower, and they, they, they rev to the moon. I mean, it, it's it, you would probably be at the moon by the time it actually did rev out because I've just put it down in the third and put my foot down and I'm not even going fast enough to blow the raindrops off the windscreen <laughs> but if you were going to put your child in a first car it's a great, it's a fantastic option plus, 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 plus let's not forget that the Toyota Igo comes with a five year warning and if your kids drive anything like the way I did when I first passed my test warning is a very, very good thing I'm just going to pull over and shut the back top here windows because I think we're getting a bit of wind noise and that's probably not going to do the sound quality any favours, especially because I forgot my sucker mount for the GoPro and we're doing this off an iPhone. Uh, bear with. That's really, really odd. I always thought pop out windows were for three doors because they didn't have a back door. This has got back doors and still has pop-out windows. But anyway, let's just, I'm going to say that's weight saving. I think that's to make the car nimble. I mean, it does weigh 1,240 kilograms. I mean, that's that's pretty light. But I suppose when you've only got 71 horsepower, then it's all about the power to weight ratio. So anyway, let's talk about the features and benefits. It's going to be a really short video. <laughs> Did you know that the I was a double bubble roof? Mm -mm. Just like the double bubble roof you would see on something rather exotic like a BMW M6 Grand Coupe. Kinda like that, kinda like that. Um, we've got things like my Nova never had, we've got a rev counter that's just got a rather optimistic red line of just under seven. Um, albeit you would probably qualify for uh, a much higher performance car due to being much older by the time it got to 7,000 RPM. Uh, but like all, all joking aside, um, it's a Toyota. It's screwed together really, really well. It's it's, it's quite lightly made, but it's not cheaply made. If you know what I mean, like all the, the plastics and everything in here, you know, they're they're of a nice, nice quality. <laughs> As you go to touch down on the door top, and it's just bare metal. But it's not an unpleasant place to be. Um, so we've got. One of the most bizarre features I think I've ever found in a car. <laughs> and I found it completely by accident this morning when <coughs> uh, I had a wee 10 minutes with the car before, we start, before I started videoing to find out if there's any material I can use for the actual video because obviously I can't take you out and demonstrate how great it handles or how mega it sounds or how fast it goes. So I'm having to kind of fall back on uh, one of the simpler things. So it has a reverse camera albeit the back window, if you try it hard enough you can probably reach it, but when you put the reverse camera on, you can adjust the contrast. I mean I've had, I've been in six figure cars and they've not even had that option. So that's, uh, I think that's a rather unique feature of the Yaris. This is a VVTI now, don't let that think that it's anything sporty at all. VVTI when you used to see at the back of a, a Toyota Celica it would be like VVTI, I wonder if it's 190 horsepower. Not in this. I'm not actually quite sure what the variable valve timing is actually doing, but you certainly can't tell the rest of it. But anyway, this is the X-Play VVTI model, so 
not been a Toyota aficionado, looking around the car, it's probably got things like, now do not underestimate how much of a difference this makes, a leather steering wheel, if you've ever driven a car without a leather, it's just a plastic steering wheel, it's horrible, they're usually quite thin and weedy feeling in your hands and it, it just feels, it just feels so cheap and nasty. Uh, so you've got a leather steering wheel with multi-function buttons. Okay, you wouldn't answer the phone and want to put the stereo up and down, but as far as I'm concerned, I think that's I think that's plenty. Um, you've got a nice infotainment system, and genuinely, it does like the animation uh, displays when you move it about from one set to the next. It doesn't need to do that, but it's, it's nice to do it. Uh, you've got all your kind of phone connections and audio, and you can go in and do your setup, which is basically just like make the display brighter, darker. And, Turn the bass and treble up and down. Um, so the infotainment is really, really nice and intuitive to use. It has daytime running lights, which is just standard these days because it's 2023 and they've been out for yonks. Um, it has a set of polished alloy wheels, which look nice, but they're a pain in the ass to keep. No one will ever re diamond cut the wheels, and this will probably end up black or just full silver. Um, as it's all done 6,000 miles, it's still in its original set of matching Continental tyres. I don't imagine that they're sport contacts, but matching Cotties anyway, because that's what it came from the factory with. Um, guys, I'm actually, I'm going to be honest, I'm looking down at my notes here because there's such a vast array of options to talk about in this car, but I've, I've actually got, yeah, I've actually got to the end of it. So there we are. Um, we are out in the I go today. Guys, Lee Spencer, really appreciate you make my first video that bit easier for me. You know, you, you could have pulled out closer, maybe stuck me in the, the Jag or something. I could have done some cool exhaust clips or showed how nice the gearbox was. It's also pretty stuff that I can as well, but no. You've got me in the I go. So there we are. This is the first of Stevie's Saving from James Glenn Cars Candid Car Reviews Of which car I have no idea Until I'm out in the car So guys I hope you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that um, As I said at the start of the video If you um, if you haven't already I would really really appreciate uh, uh, Me subscribe on the channel If you've liked the video <laughs> Give us a thumbs up If you haven't Well uh, press the other one if you have any questions relating to this phenomenal car, drop it in the comments, or if you just want to chat, um, stick it down there as well. Um, very, very active in the comments. Um, we're also on Facebook, TikTok, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, thanks very much for joining me on this incredible voyage of Igonis, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.